संदीपा बिस्वास एंड यू वॉचिंग माई चैनल इकॉन्स ऑन अर्थ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दोनोटिक प्रेफरेंसेज एंड द लेक्सिकोग्राफिक प्रेफरेंसेज द मोनोटिक प्रेफरेंस इज समथिंग दैट इज चूजन बाई एन इकोनॉमिक एजेंट दैट इज द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ एनी कमोडिटी और द बंडल ऑफ सर्टन नंबर ऑफ कमोडिटीज सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट the person or the economic agent is interested in the quantity of the commodity or commodities he is not interested in the uh, quality or certain uh, characteristics of the commodities in question so on the screen you can uh, see that a monetary preference means that a rational consumer always prefers more of a good or bundle of goods as it offers the consumer a higher level of satisfaction and the consumer may have different preference sets uh, corresponding to the different levels of uh, of his income because uh, of course if you are going to buy or making a demand then it will be uh, it uh, it will be relevant to your uh, income level or the budget level because Uh, it imposes a certain constraint but within the limit of the uh, of your budget or um, uh, or income level you will opt for the highest number of the commodity okay so if uh, suppose here is x and y two commodities are there then you are um, you have two choices like uh, uh, you will get 5 uh, units of x and 8 units of y then you will choose y because you are getting 8 units of that uh, commodity within the uh, with the level of uh, your given income level say uh, you are getting this 5 or 2 uh, 5 or 8 units uh, with your 10 rupees then you will choose 8 and if there is uh, if you are talking about the um, bundles of the commodity then uh, it needs a more explanation and we will uh, see it in the upcoming slides now i will move to the lexicographic preferences lexicographic preference is something in which you you have uh, preference for the characteristics of the commodity so suppose uh, there are some bundle of uh, three commodity or numbers may be more like x y z then if you have uh, the preference for commodity x more then you will choose though that bundle only which has more of the commodity x and Uh, your likings for the different commodities are given and ordered okay so you can see on the uh, slides uh, lexicographic preferences or lexicographic orderings de uh, describe comparative preference where an economic agent prefers any amount of good x to any amount of uh, good y or any other Uh, commodity so he has he or she has a preference for the certain commodity okay so if offered several bundles of good the agent will choose the bundle that offers the most of x and no uh, no matter how much y is there okay and only when there is a tie between bundles with regard to the number of units of x with the agent, uh, with the agent uh, will the agent start comparing the number of units of y across the bundle what it wants to say is that uh, i will come here um, uh, one more thing that with uh, uh, lexicographic preferences the utility of certain good is infinite symbol in comparison to the other so here in uh, the utility of commodity x is infinite symbol to the other 
communities like here is an example here is a preference order is given like x is greater than y preference for x is greater than y and preference for y is greater than z and that's why uh, also the preference for a, uh, x for in comparison to z is high or greater so three options are available that you will uh, get 5 of x 3 of y and 3 of z second 5 of uh, x 1 of y and 6 of uh, z then last is 3 of x 5 of y and 3 of z then here the lexicographic prefer uh, uh, preference maker will choose uh, first option because it has uh, five number of units then three number of y and then three number of z this in the second option also it has also five uh, units of x but the y is one only so according to this rule y is preferred more than z so here you are getting only one commodity of y and six of z but here you can uh, get three of y and uh, rather than one of uh, z so uh, this is chosen and in the third option you can see that uh, only three units of x is uh, offered so it will uh, discard it at the beginning the second option discarded uh, at the second stage so uh, here if you see the sum total number of first it is 11 5 plus 3 plus 3 11 so, uh, the sum total of second option is 12 and the sum total of the third option is 11 okay so despite it is providing only 11 units uh, in a totality as compared to the second unit which is providing 12 units the lexicographic preference maker will choose the first option because it has maximum number of uh, it has highest number of uh, x then highest number of higher number of uh, y then the second option okay so this is the lexicographic uh, preference maker that he will choose the first option but if we uh, talked about if we talk about monotonic preference maker he will choose the second option because it is giving highest number highest sum total number it is giving 12 and the two or the other uh, options are giving uh, 11 only the monotonic preference maker is interested in numbers as i said and the lexicographic preferences is interested in the qualities or certain features of the commodities as i said earlier okay so i hope you understood what is the difference between the uh, monotonic preference and the lexicographic preferences thank you so much and please subscribe my channel if you have not done yet it and uh, do like and share my videos thank you so much